Blessings, beloved. Jesus is the way and the truth and the life and no man comes to the Father but through him. It's not too late to return to Jesus. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with the heart that one believes and is justified and it is with the mouth that one confesses and is saved. Believe. Believe in him. He is altogether lovely. He is altogether good. You cannot come near to him if you won't believe in him. Believe. He said, no one can snatch you out of my hand. No one. No weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises up against you in judgment you shall confute. This is the inheritance of the saints. Do you know who the saints are? Those who believe in Jesus unto salvation. Will you? Will you believe in Jesus? Will you realise that he is beautiful? Will you taste and see that he is good? Don't be deceived. I love you dearly. I care about you. You are an image bearer of the living God. Jesus loves you so much that he came and died on the cross at Calvary for you. Jesus is altogether lovely, harmless, meek, guileless, and he loved you so much that he was pummeled for you. He loves you. He wants you to be rescued. Come to Jesus today. Be rescued. Jesus died on the cross at the hill of Calvary in the region of Golgotha over 2,000 years ago for your sins. And that promise still stands today. Will you take advantage of that promise? Will you take that promise? And believe it at any cost at any cost because he is lovely what would you put in between you and the one who gives you breath what would you allow in between you and him what would you allow You see, Jesus doesn't ask you to stop loving your, your neighbour. He doesn't ask you to love He commands you to continue doing so. Jesus came as a substitutionary sacrifice. He is a substitutionary sacrifice for your sins. You know, I, would, I want to reach you with this message. I want to touch your heart with this message. I want to see you saved. I want you to come to Jesus and be saved. I'm not concerned about the negative things that people say to me or about me or the harmful things that they do to me. Because Jesus promised those things could happen. It would happen to the saints. And we're poured out a living sacrifice, but we won't stop loving you. We love you, and we want you to be saved. I mean, we really love you. We want you to be saved. And set free. To live in eternity in peace. Come with us. Put your faith in Jesus. Step out of the world for him. Step out of it. Come to the Lord. Be rescued. Romans 10, 9, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved.
Excuse me, for it is with the heart that one believes and is justified, and it is with the mouth that one confesses and is saved. Just did a search for it. What does the Bible say about the gospel, actually? And what does the word gospel mean? Well, the, go the word gospel means the good news. Romans 1.16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. So that's everybody. The gospel extends to everybody. It's not a discriminatory doctrine. It's available to all. Acts 3.19, repent therefore and turn again so that your sins may be blotted out. Jesus wants you to live. He's long for them, man. He's love. That's who he is. He is love. Come to Jesus. Romans 10, 9 to 13. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. For the scripture says, everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord is Lord of all. Oh, bestowing his riches, that means uh, giving his gifts, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. Wow. Wow. He wants to lavish you with gifts forever. Bestowing his riches on all who call on him, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone. Everyone. Will you call on the name of the Lord today? From a genuine position? You say, Lord Jesus, will you rescue me? Will you seek him and ask him to rescue you? Lord Jesus, please rescue me. Give me what I need, Lord Jesus, to be in your presence to be saved. Ask him. If you're in doubt about his existence, why don't you ask him? Why don't you ask him to, sh to, show, to show you his presence? Why don't you ask him to reveal his presence to you? I'm not saying to ask for signs and wonders to prove that he exists. That's not what I'm saying. Because the Bible says well, an evil generation will do such a thing. Asking God to prove himself. Tempting God, perhaps. I don't know. Ask him to reveal his presence to you. His spirit. Ask him to save you. Ask him to lead you to all truth. Believe. Believe. The Bible says happy is the one who believes yet has not seen, or has not seen yet believes. Happy, why? Because they've had a supernatural experience, a spiritual experience. And they've tasted and seen that he is good in the absence of actually seeing him physically. So that's a profound experience, isn't it? A spiritual, supernatural experience that has moved them as a person changed, utterly changed them because of what they've experienced. A supernatural rebirth. Happy is the one who has not seen yet believes. I believe. I believe. I believe Jesus is who he says he is. And that he will do what he says he will do. Do you believe? Will you believe? I love you and I want to see you saved. And I know Jesus does. He wants to see you saved. If the one who loved you most came and died for you so that you could be free and no longer in spiritual bondage, Would you die for him? Would you be poured out in the same manner that he was? Would you be poured out in living sacrifice? If he said to you, and put it like this, I'm going to send you into the world. You're going to be hunted. You're going to be persecuted, hated, oppressed, 
You're going to go through trials and tribulations. People are going to call you crazy and all sorts of things on account of my name. Would you go? They're going to hunt you. They're going to hunt your very soul. They're going to persecute you. But I'm going to purpose it for your betterment. Believe in me. I am God. Believe in me. I am all there is, all purpose, provisional. Potential. Purpose, provision, and potential. He is Jesus, the spirit of prophecy, the detail of his word. He is God. There's nothing he can't do. Nothing. Will you believe? Will you believe? Will you believe and be saved? Will you come with us to eternity in heaven? Will you? Jesus is the way. If you put your faith in him, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with the heart that one believes and is justified. And it is with the mouth that one confesses and is saved. Will you be saved? Will you resist the devil? No matter what he throws at you, will you stand and resist in the fire with your Lord? Would you stand and suffer with him? There's nowhere he sends you on your own. He doesn't do that to you. And he won't send you to do a mission ill-prepared. He wouldn't do that to you. That's not who he is. He doesn't want anybody to suffer. He purposes everything for good, even your suffering, if you love him. If you're going to have a future with him, he will purpose everything you go through for your betterment. That's who he is. That's who he is. They misrepresent him in this world. Of course they do. They're his enemies. They're not going to represent him well, are they? Think of the opposition and government. They slate each other. And they're in the same organ of state. So how much worse slander do you think will occur in a different kingdom that is opposed to the one? He is all purpose, potential, and provision. He is the Lord. And he's lovely. Consider butterflies. Consider puppies. Consider the cuteness, sweetness, beauty of a baby, chubby cheeks, and the beauty that we we observe even in their developmental stages all throughout. Different intricacies in their beauty as they develop and mature. Different manifestations. But the beauty of a woman, her slightly unique and peculiar tendencies as an individual that only her partner can truly appreciate and he knows her more closely than the next guy consider all of those beauties and all those in intricacies that God has provided for us and the things he, le he makes and creates for us to search out and experience in his infinite nature. He doesn't burden us with trying to know too much too quick. He, may, he fashions everything for our enjoyment, pleasure, 
or appreciation, comfort, well-being. Because that's who he is. He's a provider, a sustainer, who cares about every detail that you're going to experience. Everything. Everything has been sculpted, formed perfectly for your experience. The buttock that you sit on, the cushioning. It just so happens to be a beautiful member of the body. Not by accident, not by mistake of evolution. He sculpted the form. So that it would be a delight in every aspect. In every way. The Garden of Delight, the Garden of Eden. It was a Garden of Delight. That's what Eden means. He loves you. He wants you to be rescued. And he can do far more than you can ever ask or think. Exceedingly, abundantly, more than you can ever ask or think. He's infinite unlimited and infinite in power and potential and capacity. He's infinite. He's infinite in love too. Imagine that. His love and his desire, who can match? None. He is God. Submit. Submit. He is worth it. He is your very great reward and your best friend BFF Jesus blessings beloved I care about you I love you the gospel is that Jesus wants to save you from hellfire hellfire was created for the enemies of the throne of God not for his image bearers want you to perish. He wants you to be saved. So come with us. Come to the Lord. What are you afraid of? He's God. Seek the Lord while he might be found. I love you. Blessings. Jesus is Lord.